Scott McGregor here with Rapid Media TV, and I'm in the H2O Canoe Company booth with the owner, Jeff Hill. Jeff, this is the third day of the show. Yeah. Um, I, we were joking earlier about uh, you being talked out, and tell them, but take a few minutes and tell us about uh, the new series of boats you have here. Yeah, thanks, Scott. So what we've been telling people about this weekend is our new Epoxy Pro Series canoes. And um, we've stopped a lot of people. A lot of people have stopped to have a look. And we were really excited about the response. And uh, yeah, we, we've spent the weekend telling people what they're made of, why it's a great thing that they're so light yet they're durable. And uh, really just really happy about the response of how suddenly some people have stopped and had to have a look and see what's going on. Okay, so let's talk about in 30 seconds, tell me a bit about the original series and then what's different uh, in, in this boat that we have here. Yep, so we've, we're in our 10th year. We've spent our first number of years making classic gel-coated marine-grade resin canoes, uh, Kevlar, fiberglass, some carbon. Um, we've taken most technology available to us now, um, epoxy, heat-cured resin, Carbon fiber, Kevlar combined with the new Inegra basalt materials that are highly impact resistant. And we've combined those with some construction techniques for rigidity. And, and overall, we've just simply tried to make a boat that's between 30 and 40 pounds that you used to have to buy 60 to 70 pound boats to expect the results from. You said that in a different way to me earlier in the show. You said to, you used to have to get to a 35 pound boat, you used to just have to make them thinner and thinner and you know, light, you know, yeah, and that's less right. more brittle. And now you can build a 35 pound boat that's as tough as what used to be a 60 or 70 pound boat. Yep, yeah, that's a good way to phrase it too. It's, it's, um, it's a strategy that if you look closely at our Epoxy Pro boats, we, we've got a rib system, we've got an integral gunnel, we're using a species of wood to reduce the weight. Our float tanks are extra low weight. And they're all techniques trying to assure um, that none of the structure comes out of the hull itself. And, and that has classically been the way to reduce the weight of the boat is actually just reduce the weight of the hull. Great. But now you're susceptible to everything that hull encounters. Great. And this, I mean, we're now at like a 35 pound boat for the Epoxy Pro Series, and it's still in the $3,500 range. That's right. Actually, we can start at thirty-two ninety-five for a standard Anegra um, Epoxy Pro Series canoe, and we move through to about thirty-six ninety-five for the ultralight carbon Kevlar Anegra Epoxy Pro Series canoe. <laughs> <laughs> and you can you tell it's day three? You've got that right yeah. down. Okay. So sometimes when we come to shows, we see prototypes, but this isn't a prototype. This is a production model. That's right. Th this this is the real deal. Um, we're real excited this summer. This exact carbon fiber setup canoe will be. Um, in a number of locations in Ontario, including the Portage store in Canoe, uh, Canoe Lake, Algonquin Park. Um, there'll be 20 of these there for their ultralight series. Uh, and they're available in current production right now. Great. People can learn more at the website, which is? www.h2ocanoe.com. Jeff, thanks very much. Right. Enjoy packing up. Yeah, Great show. You. Scott McGregor here at Rapid Media at the 2015 Outdoor Adventure Show, and I'm hoping you paddle forever.